which is Prophet God will call the Prophetic Hall of Fame. Um, I feel great. Number one, uh, I've been receiving a word from different parts of the world. And um, no award is small. But I want to say that city people award that I received today, I'm very happy. And uh, it tells me to tie my clothes very well so that I need to work more harder. I never knew that what I'm doing, people are seeing it. And today, I'm everywhere. Prophet Godwin here, Prophet Godwin there, Prophet Godwin here. So I'm very happy for this award. Oh, so, um, receiving... The one is I have noticed the prophecy. All prophecy that I give all over the world are accurate, come to pass. And uh, that makes me to uh, only this um, one prophecy of Mr. President saying that Swanju will become the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and it came to pass. And some people say he's not going to win the court case, and I said he's going to win the court case. And everything came to pass. And that has given me a heavy fame all over the world. I know many many prophecies have given me fame, but this one is uh, is uh, extraordinary. So this is what people are saying, and it's making people to believe that yes, God speaks and the word of God come to pass. So these are the things. How do you feel? It makes me feel to be more humble. Like this year, the year prophecy I talked about uh, the UAE that are going to face tsunami. Mm -hmm. that they should prepare themselves that there is a tsunami I talk about climate change in the Arab nation I think about three weeks ago maybe two weeks ago, you saw it everywhere and calls started coming from the nation of Arab wealthy people high prominent politicians from the Arab world what can we do to stop this thing not to happen again so even the, the, the serious Muslim people have come to know that God speaks to the prophet so this is how prophecy can go. Issues of, uh, you know, uh, Abbas, Uigwe. This year, I talked about, I saw, I saw tears. In, in heavy tears in the West. In heavy tears. That is dropping in, in very big tears. Which is going to happen as a kind of a plane crash. That it's not going to be in this country. It's going to be in abroad. Oh, you saw it. Where is Abbas Igwe today? A lot of people hear prophecy, but they don't take it serious. God speaks to redeem. So when you hear a prophecy, it's not to make it happen, but at least someone needs to go after it to make sure that it turns to a testimony. That was started since 2004. I was once a member of Christ's embassy. <laughs> so from Christ's embassy, we started. So I'm also a son of Pastor Chris. So, but our father is Benson in the house. Archbishop Benson in the house. Uh, yes, I was baptized in his church as a small boy. So, and the grace run through our thing for that. The fire is still more. Finally, sir, I would love to know who is Prophet Golden. I want you to tell us. My mother is Robo. My father is Robo. The both sides are from Delta State. I was born also in Delta State. I schooled in Delta State. So, I'm a Uroboma. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you.